Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and I'm playing some Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the slime pit. Right, because they are awesome. <laughs> right, they are so cool. And they're so colourful as well. They're so colourful when you sell them. Look at this. I didn't realise this. <laughs> they all just get splat. So cool. Right, so, um, now that we've cleared that bit up, right, yeah, they are super powerful. Right? They are really, really, really good. And if you decide you want to go corrupt, they will drench the enemies as well. Drench them, not drench them, oil them. Right? Which means it's, you know, they take increased fire damage, which I suppose is good if you've got a flame aura there. But just for the purpose of the video, I haven't. Right? But I mean, ideally you could flame aura up, put a few slime pits down, and yeah. Just let them go and be as slimy as possible. But look at that. Honestly, they're just bouncing around. It's so colourful. It's so nice. It's lovely. Honestly, I love colour. It's beautiful. Right. <laughs> On that note, we'll just wait and see what it does with the bosses. But look at them. They're just so cool. They just go bouncing around. Boing, boing. Hello. That way. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and we're on the uh, pirate map because I don't see too many people playing them anymore. Which really sucks because they are super cool maps. And yeah, whenever I try and find a game on them, there's nobody on them. I just end up playing on my own. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, I like playing in a party. You get all the cool loot and stuff. But uh, yeah, they are super, super, super cool. right? And I mean, these obviously, they're not... The spawn rate's every 1.28 seconds. It's dismal. Super awful. So, yeah, they could be better. You know, if your setup's better than mine, which, you know, I hope it is, it gives me something to work towards. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, they could just be amazing. Honestly, so amazing. But I wouldn't rely on them solely. I mean, for the purpose of the video, yeah, I am doing. But if it was me personally, I'd use them, possibly wear a couple of flame auras down. Just... You know, to get the real benefits of the oiling. But that's just me. I mean, if it's up to you, you might not want to. You might just want to use the slimes. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> you do what you want, as long as you're having fun while you're doing it. And yeah, as you can see, these are doing really, really, really well. Right? And I haven't used my dryer in a long time. And then I was just sort of sat here, as you do, casually. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to use the slime pit. I don't really like the Nimbus, if I'm honest with you, the Angry Nimbus, just because it it's very temperamental. And that range is just way too big. It just flies off where you don't want it to go. Honestly, if you've used it, you know what I mean. Right? They can be good, but I don't know. For me, no. <laughs> I just don't like them. I really don't like them. Not that I dislike them. But anyway... I just, I don't like the uh, range on them and the targeting. Could be better. Alright, let's upgrade it. See how we upgrade. So if we go up pretty well, they cost a lot. They do cost 40 DU. Hello? Did you get through? How did you get through? Oh, it's probably because I was studying it being a dingbat. Uh, you never know. Ooh, we've got Tuscar. I love testing things out on Tuscar. It's just so strong. Come on. Oh, wow. Yep. He's gone. Bye, Tuscar. How about the Plaguing Hulk? He's gone. Wow. Boss Eaters. And I have got more up here. I've just got them up here just in case. You know, you never know. You never know. And, yeah, I could always sell them, put them on the lane. I think I've got three on each lane. I've got three over here, three over there. I've got more down there for the boss lane. But, yeah, overall, you can just see... What sort of damage they put out. It's insane. There she is. She's coming in. Pop. Splat. <laughs> she's all slimed. Wow. Everything's getting wrecked. That's what I like to see. Super easy. Very nice. And they don't seem to have a problem with the uh, geodes either, which is nice. 
they just jump through the shield, yeah. So, no problem with geodes. Even better. And they're colourful. <laughs> Did I mention that they're colourful? I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. I might sell loads of them at the end. Just for the splats. The slimy slime pits. Come on, Kananoga. Wow. There we go. Now that they're spawning in, they're they not attacking it. What are you playing at? It's just loads of them stood there doing nothing. Where's their problem? Alright, I'll just finish this one off. What are they doing? Did they bug out? I'm not sure. Let's rebuild them up here. Oh no, well done. <laughs> well done, hammer. Come on. Alright, build that one there. Let's go over and check on... Oh, there's Quibbly. He's dead. Where's Malphia spawning? Down there, he'll take forever to come out of there. Like you. Yep. There. No, come on. Dude, there we go. We're all good. <laughs> Eventually. What is left? Nothing. It's finally done. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Overall, slime pits are awesome. All right, they scale really well. No, nope, when it actually tells you on the card. You know, they scale fairly well. They do a lot of damage. Uh, my spawn rate could be a lot better. A lot better. What am I running on it, actually? Slimy. I've got defense rate on there. I'm pretty sure I've done it on Ascension as well. Yep, that's speed maxed out. So that'll need a lot more speed putting into it to get that maxed. I'm not even sure what the cap is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> built that just for fun just for giggles and um, yeah guys let's make them get splat hey colorful splats <laughs> yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed the episode if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and i will see you all in the next video peace out guys